Let's look at now six answers to those questions. And we're going to start at the divine, the, the, the grandest scale. What are the six qualities uh, that we reference to the divine? We have, we say God is light, God is love, God is truth, the way, the truth, and the life. So how do those relate to our six questions? Well, the, for the metal element, we have breath, the breath of life. So the quality, the divine quality of life. And in Oriental medicine, they say we breathe in the, the spirit minerals that make up our spirit body. We breathe in the, that essence of, of immortal life. And <clears throat> then we go to the fire element, the heart, and that's the center for love. So we associate the divine quality of love. And then the earth element, which is thought and consciousness, the, 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 the thought element of consciousness, because all of this is consciousness from sensation to feelings and, and thought and ideas to, to thoughts. Uh, in thought, we have truth, the divine quality of truth. In the water element, where we have choice and we act, we use our will to take action, that's the quality of the way, finding our way, navigational beings we are. And then the wood element, we have the quality of light. And finally, the divine itself is that transcendence of, of here and now, and yet holding all possibility of time and space and, and potential in, 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 in the energetic potential of what we call the plenum. It's the opposite, con opposing, balancing concept of the, of the dead physics idea of a vacuum, where we can take everything out. When we take everything out that we can, it's still not a vacuum in a physics sense. There's still substance there. We can't remove the dark matter, the dark energy. We can't remove all of the material substance. There's still energy there. In fact, there's, there's quanta appearing from the field, that field that's nearly infinite energy, so great that we can't measure it. And that's the plenum, the fullness, which is the opposite meaning of vacuum, emptiness. When we remove everything we can from a space, it's still full. It's still full of energy of space and time. As much energy in that plenum, in a small, small space, as in all the material substance in all the universe that we can see and measure. So it's all, in a sense, present here now. Every point in space, every moment in time, every part of the universe is filled with that divine presence of consciousness that the, the sea, the ocean of being that allows these, this foam, us to create this uh, and co-create this foam, this, these bubbles of cellular presence of atoms and molecules and cells and organs and bodies and things and stars. So that's the cycle on the divine level. 